he was busy videoing. Oh man. Uh, the ginger beer. Okay. Over here I have the ones that are on our fountain. In front of our fountain. We've got cola. Okay. Now, the grocery stores don't let us compete, you know, cola against Pepsi and Coke and all and their own brands and everything. But I did have two different tours come through here and the reason they signed up was they heard that they could take cola home with them. So they sucked me dry on cola, you know, because it really just is, is very good and they enjoy it more than Coke or Pepsi. I have Citra. The Citra is, I always described it as our, as our like a 7-Up, you know, a lemon lime. But I had a gentleman sitting in the back and he goes, no, there's some other flavor here. So I had him pull the recipe for me and he was absolutely right. It was one part lemon extract, one part lime extract, but then it was three parts of grapefruit extract. Hmm. So it has a little bit different flavor to it. I would tell you maybe it's closer to the Fresco than it is to the 7-Up, you know, along that line. I have the different Lily's flavors that we've had available. The first one being Lily Temple. This is that bright, uh, bright red cherry, sweet cherry flavor. I did have the young, young lady, she goes, Lily Temple, is that named after that Shirley Temple drink? <laughs> what? Yes, my aunt takes self Shirley Temples all the time. <laughs> Well, you know, little girl, you should not know that, but you're absolutely correct. <laughs> you're absolutely correct. The Lily Temple was named after the Shirley Temple drink, okay? And it has that bright red and, and sweet cherry flavor to it. One of my personal favorites, Lily's Oatmeal Raisin Cookie. Okay, now it might sound a little weird, but I will tell you, I was back doing prep the one day. Our genius uh, flavor guy, he comes running out and says, you got to try this. Taste it. And I'm like, wow. Now, oatmeal doesn't taste like anything, but brown sugar and cinnamon and raisins, they do. And I will tell you, this is a on-point copy of this is a liquid version of an oatmeal raisin cookie. If you like oatmeal raisin cookies, you will like this soda. And then imagine with a scoop of vanilla ice cream making it into a float. Mm. Okay? The Lily's flavor that is on the line right now. So if you, were to, if you were to leave today and go out and sit down and have a late lunch or whatever, or you come in another time and you order right now a Lily's soda, what's on our line is Lily's candy apple. Mm. Okay. So it, it's again, it's this bright red, it, to me it has a little tiny bit of the aftertaste of cinnamon to it, and you can taste the apple flavor in it. They're actually experimenting uh, with um, caramel apple, and I ended up tasting like three different versions of it. Even though you could smell the apple, when you went to drink it, all you could taste was the caramel, and they just could not get the ratio right. So they bailed out and went to the candy apple, and that's what's on our line right now. Then the last flavor here in the middle, this one has never been on the line. They made it especially for the tours, and that's a, a grape soda. You know, it's sort of like the knee-high grape, uh, unlike the Henry's hard grape soda, but, the, uh, but it's the grape soda. And that's the only place you can find it is on the tour because we don't have it on the line. We've never had it on the line. They made it especially for us. Okay. So, as I said, this is the most difficult part of this is figuring out what to take home with you. Now, I have no problem if you want to take Everybody wants to take home root beer, we can do that. I do encourage different choices so that you can always horse trade later on, okay? All right, let me start here with the two young ladies. So, what flavor are you gonna choose? I think I'm gonna try the birch beer. No, not the birch beer. Alcohol. Yeah. And How about you, root beer? I'm going straight up root beer. Definitely straight up root beer. I was thinking of the citra as well. Since, but I'd sort of like to compare birch. Yeah. yeah. And root. Yeah. The cola sounds interesting too, by the way. Yeah. I'm just to see what the difference would be. I can get the root beer if you want me to. No, 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 no. I don't want you to do that. I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to get the root beer. And now it's time for our selection. And I'm going root. Very good. It wasn't choice. nearly as difficult as it's been had. Yeah. I get a little stuck. Can I try it? Get it. Let's see if you can get it. Right? That's open. Go ahead and give him a sniff. Yeah, I used to just move on to the mm, next step, and people would just ignore it. me anyway when I would have mm. So oh I just made gosh, this a little yours? step. Okay. Mm, uh, I remember why I used to drink birch beer. <laughs> I don't think I've had birch beer since I was a kid. Oh, God. Okay, everybody finished sniffing? Go ahead and pour your syrups into your water bottles. The whole thing, remember these are pre-measured. One part of mix to five parts of water. Okay. 
when you finish Post pouring, just put your cap back on your syrup bottles. I'll collect them and get them out of your way. It's up to you if you're uh, if you have a tendency to spill things, put the cap back on the water bottle or not. It's always interesting who doesn't have faith in themselves. <laughs> Or the people who know themselves very well. <laughs> All right, there's your bath, right? Okay. And now I'm going to do my, I'm going to do my flight attendant seatbelt check here. <laughs> Okay, so if you get your fingers up here, get ready to go. When I say go, you're going to push it down. You're going to push it all the way down inside the machine. Okay, everybody ready? Hold it for 35 seconds. And hold it for 35 right. seconds. Like I say, the smaller your fingers, the longer 35 seconds seems to take. And go. All the way down. Very good. Very good. Very good. Keep holding. Okay, so the different, the different sodas will make different amounts of foam. And stop. Mine was done. Okay, let's see who's got the least. Let's start with yours. Okay. We're gonna push here. Just the tiniest little bit. We're gonna listen for that CO2 to escape me. Sure I can hear it. Can you hear it? Yep. Okay, see if you can hold it right there. Oh. Back down. <laughs> when you when you hear it start to go, psh, you need to set it down. So just let the foam settle down before you okay. try it again. Big mess up on my part. I'll tell you. You're going to get sent home in bad grade. Yours has a lot more foam than the birch beer did. Okay, so let's, let's see what you settle. Okay, dear, your turn. Right here, push right here. You're just going to let a little tiny bit out. You still have a lot of pretty good amount of foam still. See it rising up? Very good. Did you settle down? Yeah. Yep. Go ahead. Try it again. Just see the pressure. See how hard this plastic is. That thing. It's in a rock. It doesn't give it all. And so, when all that pressure is here. He's being the soda machine whisperer. Pressure of state. Listening for it. Listening, listening. Very good. Obviously, I don't. Good job. You're getting it quite beautifully. Wait till. No. Yeah. I smell good. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You hold, you hold the bottle, and I'll show you. Now watch, watch inside the bottle, okay? Good job. See the level coming up? When down, when to go. I think that's yeah. perfect. It's in the middle All right. Your bottle here, hold on to it enough to now grab the handle up here. Okay. Just bring it down. That's good stuff. And then go. That's not too handy. There you go. Good job. That little jerk thing. Oh, check it out. One more birch beer. Now watch. As these bubbles burst and lower, this liquid level will rise. See that? Check out the cap. It says Appalachian Brewing Company. 
put a little more okay. in there. Put it in here. And then we get you get your angle. Right in the middle. So that like this. It's, yeah, it's gonna slide into that liquid, not get all the way down. And I got him. <laughs> Gotta clean him off. Because he's a piggy piggy. Fill your little uh, taster glass. He has to wipe his off because he made a bit of a mess. I didn't actually. Oh. She shamed me into doing And then have a little taster. All right, so it's Lisa. Lisa's birch beer. Lisa. Birch beer. Is there any secret to the label or just plop yeah, it on there? Yeah, just, nope, no secret. Just peel it off and stick it right back on. If you're like a normal person, you put it on right side up. If you're people like me, you put it on upside down. I'm a normal person. I don't want it on the seam. In the middle. One down, one to go. And now for the final taste test. Finished product of my birch beer. The birch beer. A little, taste a little sample beer. that didn't First go on the bottles. Here's the bottle. And isn't it lovely? It's it lovely. Is. So meticulously placed it on was, the bottle. It is. I can't wait to see yours. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. Salud. Just look at my hair. That's going to give you an idea how that bottle, that label is going to get put on the bottle. Mmm, so good. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Yeah. Forgot how much I like birch beer. So um, during the tour, why did he tell us that the, these these products are called beer? It was a marketing thing. Yeah. Because the uh, the pharmacist who initially was making this stuff hires he in Philadelphia was making it, mixing it with tea. Yeah, he discovered these tea flavors he thought were wonderful. But he was here, or the people he was selling to were working class people, laborers, working on the railroad and stuff. They weren't going to buy something called tea, even if it was a cold drink with CO2 in it. So he changed the name to beer. And the rest is history. Even though there's... <laughs> It's not alcoholic at all. Well, we've chilled up our soda, our freshly made soda, and it's time for the big taste at home. It's time for the big reveal. The and big they reveal. They told us we can't use the bottle. Oh! oh. Super so easy. the way to pour it to get the least fizz is to angle the glass. But mine didn't have a lot of fizz in the first place. Some have more fizz than others. Mine popped too. Oh, we're not getting to see yours, and you are not holding it at an angle. Okay, I want the fizz. Oh, well, you're getting the fizz. I'm getting the fizz. Here comes the fizz. <laughs> Here's a root beer, which started with a lot more fizz and was poured not in the recommended poorly, way. Poorly. But I wanted to see the fizz. Oh, that carbonation we put into it. Yep. From the soda stream. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh, this white birch beer is so good. Oh, man, this is good. Mm. You're not even in the picture. I know. People aren't even getting to see you enjoy it. <sighs> Did they hear it? Opinion. <laughs> I'm gonna spit on the side of my mouth. That would be bad. Mm. Yum! Yum, that's delicious. Ah, well, I'm glad we made these. Two I am sodas. too. I'm yes. glad to know that we can actually go and purchase it there. Yeah. Only, these only cost us six dollars each. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Worth every penny. Absolutely. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Ring the bell to get notices about new videos. Hasta luego. See you soon.